This video will cover moderate questions regarding the topic of derivatives inverse trigonometric functions. Question 1. Think of it as d dx of arc tangent of u equals 1 over 1 plus u squared times u prime y prime equals 1 over 1 plus x squared plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over x squared times 1 over x prime equals 1 over 1 plus x squared plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over x squared times minus 1 over x squared equals 1 over 1 plus x squared plus times minus is minus then 1 over expand x squared plus 1 equals 0. Question 2. Think of it as d dx of arc sine of u equals 1 over square root of 1 minus u squared times u prime. y prime equals 1 over square root of 1 minus cosine x squared times cosine x prime. Using the trigonometric identity, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, then 1 minus cosine squared equals sine squared. Then back to the original, 1 over square root of sine squared x times cosine x prime is minus sine of x equals minus sine of x over we can rewrite as absolute value of sine of x. Using the definition of the absolute value, absolute value of x equals x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and minus x if x is less than 0 equals minus sine of x over sine of x if sine of x is greater than 0 and minus sine of x over minus sine of x if sine x is negative. Then the final answer is minus 1 if sine of x is greater than 0, 1 if sine of x is less than 0. Question 3. Think of it as d dx of arc tangent of u equals 1 over 1 plus u squared times u prime y prime equals 1 over 1 plus square root of tangent of x squared times square root of tangent of x prime equals 1 over 1 plus tangent of x times d dx of square root of x equals 1 over 2 square root of x then d dx of square root of u equals 1 over 2 square root of u times u prime back to the original square root of tangent of x prime is 1 over 2 square root of tangent of x times tangent of x prime equals 1 over 1 plus tangent of x times 2 times square root of tangent of x times secant square of x. The final answer is secant squared x over 2 times 1 plus tangent of x times square root of tangent of x. Question 4. d dx of cosine of x equals minus sine of x. Then d dx of cosine of u equals minus sine of u times u prime. And y prime equals minus sine of arc sine of x times arc sine of x prime equals 
This is cancelled, then minus x times 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. The final answer is minus x over square root of 1 minus x squared. Or, actually this way is longer, but you can just think of it as such. Let theta equals arc sine of x, then theta equals arc sine of x, then sine theta equals sine of arc sine of x, then sine theta equals x, then we can make the triangle. The respect angle is theta. The hypotenuse is 1, and the opposite side is x to make sine theta equals x. Then adjacent side is square root of 1 minus x squared. Then back to the original, y equals cosine of this one is theta, which is the square root of 1 minus x squared. Then y prime equals 1 over 2 square root of 1 minus x squared times 1 minus x squared prime equals 1 over 2 square root of 1 minus x squared times minus 2x, then cancelled. The final answer is minus x over square root of 1 minus x squared. And each form, square root of x prime equals 1 over 2 square root of x. Then square root of u prime equals 1 over 2 square root of u times u prime. Question 5. u over v prime is u prime b minus u b prime over b squared. Then y prime equals 1 over 1 plus x squared minus x prime times x squared plus 1 minus x times x squared plus 1 prime over x squared plus 1 squared equals 1 over 1 plus x squared minus x prime is 1, then x squared plus 1 minus x times x squared plus 1 prime is 2x over x squared plus 1 squared equals 1 over 1 plus x squared minus x squared plus 1 minus 2x squared over x squared plus 1 squared equals 1 over 1 plus x squared minus x squared plus 1 squared, then 1 minus x squared. Then make the same denominator, x squared plus 1 squared, x squared plus 1 minus 1 plus x squared. Cancelled. The final answer is 2x squared over x squared plus 1 squared. This is the last one. d dx of arc sine of u equals 1 over square root of 1 minus u squared times u prime. Then y prime equals 9 times 1 over square root of 1 minus x over 3 squared times x over 3 prime minus using the product rule x prime times square root of 9 minus x squared plus x times square root of 9 minus x squared prime equals 9 over square root of 1 minus x squared over 9 times 1 over 3 minus x prime is 1 then square root of 9 minus x squared plus x times d dx of square root of x equals 1 over 2 square root of x. Then d dx of square root of u equals 1 over 2 square root of u times u prime. Back to the original. This one is 1 over 2 square root of 9 minus x squared times 9 minus x squared prime. Cancelled. 3 is left over. So 3 over square root of, we can factor 1 over 9 times 9 minus x squared minus 
square root of 9 minus x squared plus x over 2 square root of 9 minus x squared times minus 2x equals 3 over 1 over 3 square root of 9 minus x squared minus square root of 9 minus x squared minus 2 cancelled then x squared over square root of 9 minus x squared equals 9 over square root of 9 minus x squared minus square root of 9 minus x squared plus x squared over square root of 9 minus x squared. Then we can rewrite as 9 over square root of 9 minus x squared minus 9 minus x squared over square root of 9 minus x squared plus x squared over square root of 9 minus x squared. Then make the single fraction 9 minus 9 plus x squared plus x squared over square root of 9 minus x squared. Then the final answer is 2x squared over square root of 9 minus x squared. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below, and I will address them in a future video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.